Day one of Aung San Suu Kyi's first trial in Myanmar has concluded. The ousted leader is facing a range of charges, including corruption. And that accusation was made just last week. Four months since the military coup, near daily protests continue to rock Myanmar. Scenes like this have become a familiar sight. Demonstrators marching and calling for democracy, even as they risk a brutal military crackdown. In Napierdor, there's said to be heavy police presence outside a special court where the trial of ousted leader Aung San Suu Kyi has begun. The court is hearing charges related to a breach of COVID-19 measures and for possessing unlicensed walkie-talkies. A separate trial will take place simultaneously for other charges, including corruption and violation of Myanmar's secrecy law. Proceedings will take place every Monday. If convicted of all charges, Ms. Suu Kyi faces more than a decade in jail. The United Nations says Myanmar has plunged into a human rights catastrophe. It's blamed the military for being solely responsible for causing the crisis. Fighting has intensified, especially along the border areas. Clashes between the military and armed ethnic groups have driven thousands of people from their homes. At the same time, the crackdown on dissent continues. Among the latest to be arrested, the head of Myanmar's COVID-19 immunization program, Tata Lin faces charges of high treason for working with the shadow National Unity Government. Leon Waikit joins us for more. Uh, Waikit, witnesses have taken to the stand to testify against Ms. Suji. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and the trial today covers three of Misuchi's seven charges, and they include uh, illegally owning walkie-talkies, breaching the country's telecoms and COVID-19 laws. And like you said earlier, Steve, uh, just last week, Misuchi was slapped with the latest and by far the most serious charge of corruption. So if Ms. Suu Kyi is found guilty of all seven charges, she's looking at a combined jail term of maximum 20 over years. Bear in mind, Ms. Suu Kyi turns 76 years old in just a few days' time. Uh, separately, her lawyers also updated the media on Ms. Suu Kyi's well-being. They say that apart from a mild toothache that she's currently suffering from, uh, she's generally in good health. And why can at the same time the military is accusing the NLD of building its weapons arsenal? Yeah, in short, the army is basically uh, accusing the NLD of grooming terrorists by either buying ammunition or training civilians on how to use them. If you recall, back in May, the ousted lawmakers formed what's known as the People's Defence Force. Basically, these are civilian soldiers trained to fight against the Myanmar army. And since then, really, we've been seeing clashes from both sides. There have been a, a spate of attacks in, in Yangon, uh, arson as well as bomb blasts. Of course, the Myanmar army blames the pro-democracy side and the pro-democracy side, of course, blames the army. Let's not forget that the army has strong firepower, but they've also been said to have formed its own uh, civilian supporters. And according to leaked documents, these pro-army civilians have been told to go forth and spread fake news and rumours against the NLD either on social media or in tea shops or in markets. And allegedly, they've also been told to set fire to places like schools and then push the blame over to the NLD. But at the end of the day, as the trading game of, of blame continues, as the clashes continue, the biggest losers you can imagine would be the Myanmar civilians. All right, man, thanks for getting us up to speed. Long way, kid, there.